Remember this day. There they go. These guys just want to look. Oh, God, that's so Hello. These guys, they just, they just, oh, whoa, I just grabbed this guy by the face. Oh, no. Ah, look at this, guys. How, what's he doing there? What is that? Let's see if Slinky will eat that thing. Looks like it's... Oh, Slinky. Oh, my God. No, Slinky, I want that one. Yes, what's going on everybody? Just a little pond maintenance today, but this is actually a little bit different than normal. Instead of just showing you how I clean the ponds, which you know I gotta do once every six months, we're actually gonna be taking some cichlids that I actually still have in these ponds and we're gonna put them in our big recreation pond out back. So I've gotta clean three ponds today, get some cichlids out, and uh, one of the ponds happens to be Slinkies. He's got a lot of fish in there, so I wanna get them out, get them back in the rec pond because honestly, I kind of am missing the fact that I used to have a lot of fish in it. So that's what we're doing today. Fun. guys so we have done a lot of maintenance quickly as you guys saw and this is always fun because I get to see my turtles this is a good time for me to check on everyone uh, make sure they're doing well and just make sure these are happy little boogers these guys actually wander around on land and you'll notice they got ticks on them even though they go in the water they'll get ticks from wandering out on land but the ticks die they drown obviously so I'm not too worried about picking all these off they're just gonna fall off and in fact another thing that happens with with the ticks, oh, or Lydia borneensis. Hey, wait, you're going the wrong way. Get out of here for a little while. These guys just want to, look, one track mine. He's gonna keep stumbling back. Get out of here, go up there. Okay, we got the Badiger, borneensis, this is and awesome then that's, when the low. it's crazy, right? Like, there's a lot of turtles in here, guys. We want to put them up so I can try and get these fish. It's gonna be a bit of a pain in the neck, even with the water oh. low. Because the fish, down here. oh God, that's, I don't like them. Can you hand that yeah, tortoise? Yeah, yeah, just yeah. put them up there somewhere. Right, that's mm. I just have to keep them in here then. Here's another Borneensis. Oh no, that's my big old Hamiltonite. Oh. So it's fun, man. Lots of turtles, obviously. We're just gonna move some of these logs. Look at this guy. Look yeah, he's, he's going for it. He is going for it. Yeah, it is pretty cool, isn't it? You never see a turtle doing something like this. Look at this. This is, by the way, about like 70 degree slope that he's just easily climbing up. That's so, you know, you find this you is, find that they're more athletic than you give them credit that's for. That's my point, is I've never seen turtles do the things I've seen here with you until right. now. This is wild. Look at these guys just wanting to get back. I know, they're nuts. Oh, here's a fish. Oh, there's a fish. <laughs> Yeah, they want to come back, but I get worried because I don't want them to bash themselves on the rocks. Right. Oh, whoa! I just grabbed I just grabbed this guy by the face! Oh, no! Is that a baby gator it's, it's not a gator snapper. This is one of Fred's uh, snapper hybrids uh, came to me. Charlie Moorcroft gave it to me from the Moorcroft Conservation Society. So it is a hybrid. It's not actually uh, a gator snapper and it's not a normal gator, a normal snapper. It's just its own thing. And it's funny, it has the shell of a gator snapper, the head right here of a regular snapper. We have this turtle coming back. It's turtle nightmares here. I'm gonna, I got him, I got him, I got him. Just helping him. I don't want this guy in here though because I don't want my fingers snipped. So you grab him and put him behind you as far. Oh yeah, take this finger snapping yeah, you one, get no that big snapping deal. Turtle right Right there, bud. I gotta get some fish. No big deal. Take this turtle snapping. Gosh, I guys, I hope I can get fish out of this. I might have to drain this even more. All right, do me a favor. You're gonna go and plug this thing back in. Let's get this drained even more. I'll just make sure. 
We got to get the... Uh, Which plug? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, I got yeah, it. Can you see it? Yeah. Just plug it in. I'll tell you when it sucks. Just hang there for a second. <clears throat> All right. Hold on. It won't be long. Oh, just wait. Got it. Yeah, just wait there until I give you the all clear. Wait, it doesn't feel... Is it sucking? Yeah, it's definitely going. I can see the yeah, water coming up. the water's up. going down. Look at this guy on the far side. Unbelievable. He's made he it. made it all the he way up. He made it all the way up. That or Lydia. Very, very cool. Just to give you guys an idea. Almost there. This guy climbed all the way out. But I gotta go shut hey, the you pump get, off. Hey, get ready to shut the pump off. Hold on. Hold on. This is gonna be the best way to get all these little fish out of here. You ready? On. Keep going. I've done this before. But I've never gotten the fish Let's not off. take your fingers in that sump pump. No, I won't get him stuck. Okay, go! All right. Here we are. All right. This is where the fish have congregated. So behind you is that orange bucket. It's you want it with the water in it? Yeah, we want the water in it because that's water from this pond. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to grab out any more of the stuff. And then just gonna put it right Ooh, It's so funny how these fish, even in such a small area, are able to evade my capture. Here we go. There we go. Oh, Little no. beautiful. Hand caught. Look at that. Hand caught. And we're just going to keep getting fish out of here. We might get... Oh, I hear... You'll also hear fish behind these rocks. Here's one. Here's one. We just cheat. Oh, oh he went back in. Yeah, this is, this is going to be a difficult job. But it's a job that needs to be done because. Oh, here oh there's a blue one right there by your right hand. Right hand? Yeah, up right fingers. Uh, oh, that just went. That's my left hand. No, it, the blue one. Well, there's one that just went in there. That might be it. It was bright blue. Wait, is that a fish? That is not a fish. Sometimes the fish get stuck behind these rocks as the water level drops. There are a lot of fish in here, guys. Can we use the net? We can. <laughs> it might be easier. Yeah, grab that net. Or hold the bucket because it's not right. going to balance out. So. God, we are like just out of control today. Here, I'll grab that. You get the net. Yeah, this is, I think I hear. Where are we looking here? Oh, there's a fish right there, guys. Look. We got to get this fish and save it. There's a fish. There's a fish right there that needs help. Like I said, they'll sometimes get caught behind the rocks. I'm gonna move this guy. He's, oh no, don't, oh God. Look at this guys, we got them. We're saving the fish, we're saving the fish. And they're gonna go in the big pond out back, so. Yeah, let me grab Here's another one. Got that camera, see, look. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. Okay. Oh my God. Yeah, I know, I'm gonna have to check these rocks. Um, it happens, man, so we know those rocks are done. Oh, gosh. What about this rock? Is there anyone under there? No. Okay. Can uh, we got feel any more in the bottom of the pond? Uh, yeah, there are. I, I think I feel some. We'll just do this, guys. Oh, look at that. Boom. We got, got one, one right there. there. Chase them into this. I want all this fish in here, guys. Nobody. Let's get them scared away from this area. In here, now I thought I had more fish. Well, you have one, two, three, four, five, six in here. No, that's oh god, that's not a lot. It's not a lot. I'm just checking these rocks, guys, because you will get fish stuck behind here. Look at all the sediment, though. Look at all that sludge. Yikes. Now, normally, oh my god, look hello. at these guys. They just, they just want their water, man. Down in here. They want to get back in that water. I'm going to put this up here. Yeah, put it up there. I still want to keep. There's look. another little one down there by the pump, by the way. A oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The turtle's got it. Here. Oh, grab, nice. Grab that fish. Sweet. Look at that. Getting fish. Loving it. All right, man. Let me just have a peek over here. I'll be I, honest, I kind of wish I had the time to film that mountain climber there. Oh, dude. That was insane. Dude. No way. You're standing over that guy. Uh, I hope you weren't squishing him. There's turtles everywhere. While guy. I'm at it, I'm just scooping out any of this sludge. Put him down here, actually. Ah, there's a lot of that. Oh, I got a fish. Hold on. There is another fish in here. I want as many as I can get. Are you guys at home keeping track of how many fish? Because I don't know how many I've got so far. 
I think we're up to seven, but. Yeah, there's fish under here. Oh, oh yeah, I can see multiple right away. Yeah, look, look at that. that. Oh my gosh, tons of fish. There they all are. All right, hold on a second. Get, Get these, these suckers. suckers. Yep. Yeah. Look at this. I'm, I'm double fisting fish here. We got two in there, two there. And believe it or not, there's going to be a bunch of little baby fish that are going to survive and they'll grow up in this pond. And this pond is not going to be devoid of fish, I can tell you that much. I just want to get that back pond going again. It's such a bummer that we lost all the fish. God, I felt, I feel turtles. I'm glad that snapping turtle's not in here anymore. I can't believe that guy was in there. I never Bobby. knew he existed. Oh, he exists. He is. He's beautiful. He is pretty good. got bad. a gnarly shell. Well, you know what? There's way more fish in Slinky's pond. So what I'm going to do is button this back up. See, I was trying to catch fish with this little. Right, right. Sorry. Let's get this thing out of here. We got to get some. Oh, there's, there's two more fish. There's, there's definitely more fish. When in you here. lifted that rock, it was immediately apparent that we're fishing. Yeah, they're smart. They, you know, they're trying to hide, obviously. The turtles are also trying to hide. Oh, I think I saw. Like I said, I'm just trying to get as many as possible. Can we lift another one of these baseboards? Uh, like one of the ones at the bottom? Well, if you really think there are more, I mean. I think we're good. I think that's enough for this. We're gonna go okay. and get slinkies because there's tons of fish in slinkies. So what I'm gonna do is start filling this back up. It's gonna take a little while. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and, um, yeah. Let's just get back to it. I gotta wrap all this stuff up and uh, we're gonna head out to the back because while I'm doing this, it's important to do the pond maintenance. Very, very important. So, uh, all right, we got the fish out. Let's start filling this back up. I'll rinse down some of these rocks. Oh, of course, I see the fish and I'm like almost OCD about it because I want to grab every fish I see, but I can't get that. I can't get that way because it'll just, you know, It'll be just too much. Just too much. You just There's got a... peeking out right here. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's saying hello. Little turtle head poking out. Everyone gets a little turtle head from time to time. Now, why did I put that in there? Because here's what I want to do real quick. I'll just give it a good spray. Oh. Just turn this sucker on. Look out, there's gonna be water coming. <laughs> Not the biggest water pressure gone. There it is. There's my tank. Yeah, the water pressure is just Oh, look, look. Look at this, guys. I put these crayfish in here. Ow, he's got my pictures. Oh, forget oh, that. Pictures, you can <laughs> take it. Take it. <laughs> uh, I want to put these crayfish in the back pond, too. So we got a little ecosystem we're building in. So what I do is I rinse off the rocks best I can. What you normally do is with a power washer, but I'm just gonna do this real quick. Uh, you guys don't need to be bored watching all this action, but it's just a fun way to clean your pond and get fish out. This actually is the easiest way. Um, with all these rocks and so on, gosh, I just wouldn't be able to get the fish any other way. I wanna get this other little crawd out of here. Look at that little crawdad. We'll just put these two. They'll be like the Adam and Eve of the back pond. I hope. I don't know if it could be Adam and Steve. I don't know. But they're going to be in there. And we'll see what happens. In the meantime, we're getting some water back in here. And all is good. All right. Let's speed this process up, shall we? Yeah. Now we have to do what we did to the front pond, the slinkies. Now, the big challenge is we've got Slinky. So as the water gets lower, I don't want him to eat these fish because he will definitely eat them. Uh, that's a bummer. So we're starting to drain it right now. You can see he's curious as to what's going on. But uh, check this out, come with me. We have another little system in place to speed this up. So the good people at Aquascape set this little T-valve up. Oh boy, fire ants. There we go. This is gonna start pumping out here. 
So it'll speed up the process. But uh, Matt, remind me to close that later. Yeah, because before we start filling exactly. it up. Exactly. I'll just mess things up. Okay, so you're going to have to babysit Slinky, dude. Can you handle that? I got that. All right, because I'm going to go ahead and clean out all these, uh, all, you know, all this stuff. It looks like he's going to be sunbathing. So yeah, look you at watch him. him. Let me get to work. And uh, we'll meet up when we're catching fish here in a little bit. He looks pretty comfy. He looks good. So far, so good. So, as often happens when you start doing any kind of maintenance, you find out you should have been doing maintenance a long, long time ago. So this papyrus, has actually grown down into the bio balls and into the filter pads of this bio falls. Now that's what you want to have happen. You want this to become a mini wetland filter, but trying to service it, guys. Oh, I have to rip out all this, uh, clean it, and uh, put it back together. Now there's a double-edged sword. The roots, everything that happened in here, it, you can see, look at all the mud that it collects. Look at the amount of mud. I mean, this is incredible. The roots hold on to all this stuff, and that's what really filters out uh, these awesome ecosystem ponds. But um, I think it's time to trim this thing back, let it start anew, and uh, just kind of pull out all this muck that we've got in here. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. And this is not easy. This one here, the bio balls have fused to the filter pad because of those roots. So what I have to do is gently, almost like a surgeon, friends, pull away these roots best I can, and then go ahead and use this little drywall knife to kind of. And you've already been doing this for. Oh, I've been doing this for 20, a while. Twenty minutes now. Yeah, this is this is a project, friends. This is what I'm doing. Yay. Meanwhile, I found a nice little spot in the shade to just hold the camera. That's yeah, perfect for you, buddy. <laughs> That's not part of your job description. Yes. Having to do this. Oh. Blinky also has taken up a few different posts. Yeah, since we began. Oh man, there's a big, big something. piece of limestone there that it grew into. So what are those bio balls that are in the bag? Yeah, these bio balls are just what they sound. They're a place where beneficial bacteria can actually colonize. So there's a lot of surface area in these plastic Dip balls. The water, you put them in the bag and what happens is all the mud, everything collects, but bacteria live in there and those bacteria break down all the animal waste, decaying plant matter. They're basically eating the waste that's in the pond and that's what gives us these awesome clear ponds with healthy fish. And uh, you can see. And you have a couple bags of those balls in each of these filters with a couple filter pads, right? I got a couple of ball bags in here, let me tell you. Yeah, there's a lot of bags in here. And I think I got them. Oh, this is it. I just... 25 minutes later. Yeah. Where there is a will, there is a way. After chopping down two full plants. Look at that. That's it. But I still got to pull out these really sh slimy filled things here. Oh my God, this, this is crazy. This is the craziest I've ever seen it. Because these bags are now most likely fused to each other. Plus Slinky digs and he kicks up all that dirt from the walls and winds up in the filter. Where is Slinky? Oh, I see him. He's way over there. Oh my God, guys. Way. This is a major project that I never would have even started had I not been doing this thing. How's the water levels in the pond? I think we're still okay. It's getting low for sure, though. I can see a lot of concentration of fish. Okay. Ah, boy, guys. This is so crazy. Gotta like getting dirty. You know what? The fish level. It's almost time. Yeah. All right. We may want to take a breather on this. Um, yeah, there's definitely hand catchable fish right now. All right, let's do it. Let's get some fish. I'll come back to that here in a minute. So this is Slinky's pond, of which Slinky is very knows that there's a high concentration of fish over here. Yikes. All right. Let's he's gonna see. go right in. Oh, he's gonna screw everything up. Yeah, there's some 
We only want the cichlids. We don't want any of the other Look at this guy. fish hunting ground. You think Slinky's interested? A little bit. Look at that. Slink, I'd love to distract you, but you look like you're in feeding mode. It's right there. That's fine. Look. To pull this up. Maybe drain it some more. Yeah. I think so. Wanna hold this up like a duck? Yeah, so as you can see, Slinky's definitely getting excited, but I don't want him too excited because we don't want him eating these fish. And that's gonna be the challenge here with the slinks plus these lilies. Now that it's dirty, you can't quite see them, is he? No, but it's all right. It'll drain fairly quickly here. He is. He smells that there's fish. In. He is such a little character, my lizard. Oh my gosh. All right. This is so funny. You know something's going on. Oh yeah. Yeah, he knows a lot's going on. Let's think. Because we've got lots to do. Hey, Dabo there. Oh, almost got him. Almost got him. I guess I can still scoop and try and get some. Yeah, here's. And like I said earlier, we're not going to be able to get everyone. But here's a nice bumblebee. I don't know what that's called. I'm not. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, pretty. Okay, here we got two. Two more. I think we're doing good. Well, we've got like 20 fish at yeah, least. But once we put them in that pond, then oh, right, we need a lot to make There's up. A lot them. in the corners there. Look at the blue one right in the corner. All right. Let's see if we can scoop, scoop a dupe. Oh, look, there's a bunch of colorful ones. Oh, oh. get it? No, but I got some color. Oh, he's going in. That'd be the best case scenario. Uh, he's over it. He could care less about what we're doing Well, here. I think as soon as I put the camera in his face, he's like, ah. I've had enough of these characters. Day. Another specialized video? No, I'm going to go in the rock. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> slap him. Slap it. Slap happy. Look at this. Yeah. He loves his home. He loves his home, dude. to see cichlids back in that pond let me know in the comments below look at how feisty they are I put my hand in there they almost jump out of the bucket yeah, they get nervous this is crazy to see it this low well there's some big fish over here it's really hard to see how many are there until the water gets low and then they're all exactly together Yeah, this is a much more complex little pond system than you can see. Oh, look at this blue guy right here. Oh, get him, Sam. Got him. Is he still alive? Yeah, of course. Oh, there we go. Gotcha, bud. Good Oops. eyes, dude. There we go. Got him. Oh, yeah, look, there's a whole bunch. Get him. Awesome. Gotcha. Ow. Watch their dorsals. Yeah, they have little spines. That's what's cool. These ponds, there's always oh, surprises. Like They're all got? over the place. Dude. Really? Oh, yeah, man, I'm colorblind. You're, you're good. I can oh, see look. the bright blue ones. Yeah, really. Awesome. Look at this. Nice. Oh, we got fish, bro. Look at this guy. He's way in. Here, there. I'll grab it. I got it. I got yeah. it. Yeah, I got him. Oh, he's a big boy. Look at this. Awesome, man. Safe. Get him in there. Oh, good thing I didn't step on that. I had no idea it was a plastic layer. I mean, yeah, but it's very sturdy. Oh, Those are the aqua blocks. Yeah, you can put thousands of pounds on that. Really? Yep. Yeah, so just look at this. I mean, there's so much going on here. Right underneath the bridge. I thought I'd see more on the ground. Here's some more. I got two right here. See that? Bam. Oh, we're in a fish in our pond again. It's gonna be great. Hey, one jumped onto my forearm. Hello. Oh yeah, right there, look. Right there. Got it. Got it. Oh, this is a big boy. Yeah, we have another one. Look at this guy. 
He's huge. Awesome. Here's another one. Mangamo. Oh, cool. Oh. Yeah, I can see him. You got it right there. Yep. I'm, he's yep. slippy, though. Got it. Awesome. Let me grab that, though. I hear. I know. I can hear. I can yeah. hear him in the rock stuff. Here we go. You don't want these little things. No, those little guys we don't need. There's plenty in there. We got a, a million of these things, and we're not taking them. These are going back into the pond. I think we maybe almost. Oh, look at all these fish yeah, right, yeah, here. right here. Look at look at all these guys. Oh my god. Yeah, it's crazy. This is almost like the right here. They're all trying to go behind. Yep, I can see that. There we go. Another one. Camp Ken and shoot days usually involve two pair of shorts, three t-shirts, one pair of boots, maybe a bathing suit, a snorkel. Oh man, I got a bunch of fish that went behind here. I'll just put them in there real quick. Let me see. Let me see. Oh yeah, look, look at that. that. It's crazy you find like these little hiding places. Yeah. Let's get them out of here. Then I can put that rock back. Just scoop that out. Actually, almost any of these rocks that you scoop, I can see like right here. Look at this. This guy's sitting here thinking he's all fine. I got you. Oh. I wanted to just make sure these rocks get put back best I can. You always have enough for these fish to actually breed in here, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of breeding going on. That's why it's good for me to thin these guys out at the moment. Oh, a little guy. They are really... So not a quick process is basically no. the takeaway no. today. Nope. Definitely not. But necessary. But rewarding because you get all these fish. I know, free. That we've been breeding for a few years in Slinky Stain. And what I hope is they'll do the same thing in our big pond. And they survived the winter fine in a smaller environment. Which is awesome. But we got one here. These guys are getting almost able to jump out of the bucket. Are they? Watch this. When I put my hand in, a bunch of them just try to jump. Do they really? Well, awesome. now, they're, now they're a little bit more. Well, we have to get them out of that bucket soon because yeah. they're probably using up some oxygen in there. Explain that. So, basically, you know, we've been keeping these fish in an, uh, in water that a lot of fish are breathing in. So eventually, all the dissolved oxygen that they breathe, because they do breathe oxygen fish, um, they're going to use up that oxygen, and we're going to want to make sure that they're okay. Oh my god, guys. I hit the mother load back here. I mean, you better get it, because Slinky's crawling out of his cave over there. Oh, great. You got a bunch back there? I got it. I'm just fistful and like I'm able to pull like it's that. fish out like crazy. Oh, here's a big uh, summon. I'm going to go hit the pump because... Oh, yeah, hit the pump. Right. What's this? Oh, look at this, guys. How? What's he doing there? What is that? A, it's a catfish. A, uh, catfish. It's actually a walking catfish. He might, How the heck did he get in here? Yeah, kill that pump. Don't be careful. They have a spine that can hurt me. Let's see if Slinky wants it. Holy smokes. Quick, give me this. Let's see if Slinky will eat that thing. They're from his neck of the woods. Slinky, look what I got. It's a catfish. Look, Slinky. Slinky, don't hit me, Slinky. Slinky, look. Look, look, Slinky, look, look, Slinky, Slinky. Look, Slinky. Ow! Slinky! That hurt! Jesus! You just got slapped oh, hard. Why does he do this to his dad? Oh, look at that. Oh, careful now. Watch, careful. Look at this. I'm in the slap zone now. Oh, yeah, you are. Look at it right down. Here, take it. Okay, cool. He did it. There's a little treat. There's a little treat for you, Slinks. Wow, oh, no, my God. I can't believe he didn't hit me. Oh, God. Man, he hit you hard. Yeah, he did. Thanks for noticing. Yeah. Oh, I pretty much triggered it. Oh. So, guys, check this out. I was in here. Uh, Slinky came out of his house, and he is now using his body as a net. He's corralling the fish. Look at this. And he's grabbing them. And you know what? That's okay. I want Slinky to be... He is the big daddy here and um if he gets a few fish today it's a little bit of enrichment you can see some over here any ones that i can grab i'm gonna grab the but, process of him getting down into this low water and creating those walls yep. so that he can catch easier was it's, so quick and so efficient yep and watch this look now he's gonna sense it look he's sensing where they are there 
And mind you, there are plenty of fish. Oh, yeah, there here. are plenty of fish in here still. It's just amazing um, that he, you know, he's so aware of his body. Uh, I mean, it sounds silly, but, you know, this is an animal that's really intelligent, uh, in my opinion. Look, he's probing in there. He's going to grab one. I got this one. Oh, right be here. careful if he sees that. You I know. Know. Yeah, oh, see, you see, see that? See? see that open? Oh, look, yeah, there it is, right there. Ready. Look, right there. Oh, my God, this fish. Don't even just let it go. No, no, I got to save it. Oh, look, look at this. Oh my god, I think he's got one. Oh, I can see it right there. Look Does he got one? Oh, no, on the oh, other no. side of the Oh my leaf. god, he's got Oh my god, he's got a leaf. Oh, oh, he got it. He got the fish too. Oh, no, he, he dropped, dropped it. it. Oh my god, Slinky. Oh, there's two of them right on I the know, other side. There's of so many. Head. I want to get in there, but I'm afraid to put my hand anywhere near I wouldn't them at the even moment. do it. Don't risk it. Yeah, but they're right, right on the other side of that leaf. Look at this. That is crazy. Let them Look, he's got this little one. He just grabbed a little that little guy like it, surgical. Look at him. Oh my god. Look at this. And he knows That tongue is just amazing. It's so cool. I mean, when this is that mouth is so big. We never get. The, I don't see it open that much, man. Wow. Yeah. It, it, you see, this is a monitor lizard. This is what they do. Their tongue is working overtime. He's really working here. And watch this, There's guys. One right there. Right I know. Of him. Oh, he knows it. Oh my God. All right, let me see something here. Oh, he's got it. Oh my God. Get out your hands up. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I just dropped it. Oh crap. Oh, uh. Careful, don't step on his tail. I know. He is wrapped up in a Dude, thing. he is in hunt mode. Just be careful with your foot there, because just move slow. <laughs> Good God in heaven. This is, oh, look at Look, look at him. how effective he is. Oh, my gosh. This lizard is, has, watch your feet. Look, his mouth's open. Look, he, he lets them swim through his mouth. It's really a cool technique. He's just got his mouth a little bit open, and then he, oh, boy. Oh, oh my God. Oh my, oh god. my god! No, Slinky, I want that one! <laughs> he got the, the oh biggest god. fish in there! The only big fish! Oh no! Slinky! Oh, so he's happy. Whatever. I'm not getting that thing. Oh, Slinky! <laughs> I this can't is believe, terrible. I, I can't believe we didn't see him in there. I, I, at, uh, he's so camouflaged and oh slinky. Oh my just god, he the better animal. Yeah. Well, for now, on the food he's chain. probably been seeing that fish for years, and said one day I'm gonna get you, and he got him. Oh, and it's gone. Oh, Can you slinky. believe this? I I just Can you guys believe that? I can't believe that that just happened. I didn't even know there was a fish that big in here. Crud. Nope. Yeah, yeah, you're a little nervous uh, now. You ain't so brave with Slinky at the moment, are you? I just wanted to know that my shoes are connected to me. Yeah, exactly. As opposed to the dirt or another fish. Man, he got that quick. No I think down the hatch. I think we did good, guys. I think. Let me see how many fish we got. Probably. We've got 35. Our, yeah, we've got. Watch Slink on your left. I, I think we need to call this a day. Because the longer I keep this water level like that. The more apt he is to just look at him. Hey, who, me? What am I doing? I'm mm -hmm. innocent. This is just breakfast. Yeah. Holy smokes. That was That awesome. he caught that big fish is just incredible. But look at how he uses his body. We're sitting there going, oh, he doesn't see the little ones. He had a bigger plan. He did. He most certainly did. Well, we should probably add water. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's get back to filling this up. I got to continue. Let's go put these fish in the big pond. And uh, after that, I'm going to come back. And I'm going to do the maintenance, which you guys don't need to see. I've which just is, made a lot of work for myself Which today. is what? Spraying down the rocks, cleaning yeah. off the filter pads. I think you guys have seen enough. Yeah. Let's get these fish in the pond. Be right there. All right. So what I'm going to do is, even though it's the same water, I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of this. Let it kind of mix in. Give them a few minutes just to uh, kind of mix in. But I'm really happy to have some cichlids back in here and hopefully these guys will breed and reproduce we're getting into our spring we're not going to have any cold days that i'm worried about here in uh, south florida so that's good news um, but today was a necessary thing i had to do the maintenance on those ponds and uh we got the fish out so we've thinned it out i guarantee you when we fill up that pond in front there'll be fish in there they'll just keep breeding so i've got my own little feeder system i am going to probably take a trip up to ohio fish rescue sometime this year uh to get some cichlids from them so we can restock this and of course this is my friends at angels hatchery again uh, because i i really love having the cichlids in this pond i think they're amazing fish they're very interesting um, this is exactly what those cichlids like as far as the limestone rock they are a rock fish they eat the algae off of it they keep all these gambusia populations down so i want to get that ecosystem 
started up again. We still have some uh, cichlids like Duboise that are algae eaters in here that we got from Angel's Hatchery a couple months ago. Um, so I'm happy about seeing them because they were much smaller. They're getting bigger. And so basically these guys are uh, definitely thriving. Haven't seen many birds. And uh, like I said, weather is better. So, okay, here's what we're gonna do. These guys, like I said, I'm not stressing out too much about the water quality because it's the same water uh, that's feeding all these different ponds. So here we go, guys. Some more cichlids for our pond. Remember this day. There they go. Very, very cool. Oh, that's a pretty good amount. We'll see. We got some fish again. We'll let those guys get used to their new beautiful pond. We'll keep an eye on them and I'll make sure that no birds get them. But uh, thanks for joining me today, man. It's awesome. I always like when I have you guys around to help me get work done here at the camp and see what goes on. Everything that happens here is real. This is real reality programming, I suppose. I don't know. Anyway, got a little injury too. Boo hoo. I'm gonna go back and clean everything up in Slinky's Pond. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for hanging. Well, I'm not so quick anymore. Ah, see ya!